Hi guys, I'm Kristen and you're watching Perfect Fitness TV. So along with our Perfect Fitness, we're working on the perfect technique. So today we're going to work on how to do a squat correctly, okay? So for your squat, you want your feet just a little bit wider than uh, hip width apart, okay? You want your toes just facing forward and you really want to plant your feet down. You want to be able to drive your heels through the floor because you want to be able to push your weight back rather than having your weight on the balls of your feet. So if you just rock your weight back and forth, from the balls of your foot to your heels, so, okay, so a ball and then heel, ball and heel. Try to stay on that back, that, the back foot of the weight here on the heels. From here, if you take your hands and you just get them at chest level, that way you can it helps you keep your chest lifted, belly's pulled in nice and tight, you push your hips back and you're going to feel like your knees press out just a little bit, that way they go straight over your toes. And now my, my weight is totally really in my heels slightly in my pinky toe and big toe, but mainly my heels are pressing through the ground. My chest is up, my belly's in, and my hips are back, and my hips are almost at knee level. When I come back up, I'm gonna stand up, and I'm gonna squeeze my glutes, okay? So from here, if we're gonna keep it moving, we squat down and up. Remember, chest is up, hips sit back as if you're sitting into a chair, and your knees are gonna just gently be pressing out. That will make sure they go forward. Now, because this is what I usually see, this is a great angle to get it from here. I see a lot of times the knees go in, okay? People aren't supporting their knees. You want to keep those knees out, just going straight over the toes, okay? And that would be perfect. So you can, there's different ways you can do squats. You can keep them moving. Practice 10 like this. Shake it out and do two more sets. You can do three rounds so you get this really, you get this into your body, you can feel it well. You can hold the squat. Okay, you can hold it there. You can do little pulses here. All really good for your thighs, your hamstrings, you know. It's all really good. Work your glutes, hamstrings, quads all in one go. That's what squats do. Um, another one that I really like to do are sumo squats where you take the feet a little bit wider and your toes point out to the corners of the room. And then once again, you want to be pressing those knees out so the knees go over the toes. Still my chest is up, belly's in and my, I drop my hips just about to knee level, but not further, just to where my knees are, and then I come back up, squeeze my glutes, and you just press it forward just that little bit. So it's down, up and squeeze, down, up and squeeze. Once again, you could hold it, you could do pulses, and you can do single squats. Okay, so those are some of the, some of the different versions of squats I like to use in my videos. So I really suggest you practice how to do up squat perfectly, so that way when you come to the workouts, you're using great technique and getting the best results. Thanks for watching. I'm Kristen. You're watching Perfect Fitness TV.